Hey, this is Pastor Dave, and this is your Monday Mojo. Hope you had a great weekend. So it would have been nine months, and she had watched her abdomen grow and grow and grow. And she knew the time was near. She knew the moment was at hand. But she also knew that um, through circumstances out of her control, there was a journey ahead of her. 60 to 70 mile journey. And this is way before cars or transportation like that. And so she made the journey on horseback. She made the journey to a place that has now become known as a historic destination, a place that we know and people around the world know because of what happened there for the very first time, never before, and it changed the world. So in December, she, she made that journey to that historic destination of, um, of Danville, Kentucky. Oh, you, you thought I was talking about a different destination and a different person. No, I'm, I'm talking about Jane Todd Crawford, who already had children and thought she was pregnant in 1809. But it went longer and longer, and got past nine months, and she realized that she was beyond term. So she enlisted the help of a doctor. Dr. Ephraim McDowell from Danville, Kentucky, who made the 60-mile journey to her house, assessed her and said, Ma'am, I, I don't think you're pregnant. I think you've got an ovarian tumor. Now, I'm willing to do a surgery that has not been done before, but it's risky. It's not been successfully completed. But if you will make the journey to my office, I'll do it. So Jane Todd Crawford she got on that horse and she rode 60 miles in December in Kentucky to Danville, where on Christmas Day, Dr. McDowell wrote a prayer, tucked it into his pocket, and performed the surgery without anesthesia. All the while, Jane Todd Crawford singing hymns. I, I just love that part of the story. There's, there's a reliance and a trust in God that I think maybe sometimes we have lost. But that's not the point of the story. He performed surgery 25 minutes and removed a 22 and one half pound ovarian tumor. Five days later, he went to check on her. And I see his technique was impeccable. His cleanliness was impeccable. Five days later, he went to check on her and he said he was even surprised himself when he found her up making the bed. She went home and lived 32 more years and, and brought up her children. But Dr. McDowell did something that no one had ever done before. And because of that, he is known as the father of abdominal surgery. And I know that Jane Todd Crawford was glad that he was willing to take that risk and make a difference. I also know that this one, that, that this little one right here, her name is Charlotte. I also know that she's grateful. You see, Charlotte is Laura's niece's daughter. I don't know what the lineage line is, second niece, I don't know. And she was recently born, and she was born with an ovarian tumor size of a large orange small grapefruit yeah and she had to have surgery immediately to remove it she's doing great she's doing fine now but she had the surgery that dr mcdowell pioneered and he did so even though people were saying to him you shouldn't you couldn't he did so because he believed he could he believed there was a better way to do something that would change the world i know jane todd crawford is thankful Dr. McDowell was a man of faith, but he was also a man of intellect, he was a man of courage, he was a man of wisdom and skill, and he put all of those to use to make the world a better place because he believed he could do something that had not been done before. You see, I, I think those of us who are born of the Spirit of God, that those of us who are followers of God, have got not just an opportunity, but almost an obligation to think that way, to think there's a better way to do things. Maybe people think, well, we've discovered everything there is. 
I don't think so. I think there's always a way to see a new way to try something. A new way to look at systems, government systems or cultural systems or a new way to look at medicine, a new way to look at music, a new way to look at life that that we see. And others will say, no, you can't do that. It's never been done before. You shouldn't do that. You couldn't do that. But Dr. McDowell said, we're going to do this and make the world a better place. Maybe there's someone watching here today, all of us who are taking this in, who is going to be known as the mother of whatever because you decided, I think there's a better way. Let's try it. Against all of the naysayers, let's try it. Anyway, I know Joan, Jane Todd Crawford was thankful. I know that Ryan and Kayla are thankful. So let's be that kind of person and make a difference in this world. Anyway, that is your Monday Mojo. Have a very Merry Christmas.